This is Tao Ta with a Garden Grove TV3 News Report. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties upon which I'm about to enter. Upon which I'm about to enter. All right, bro. The community and members of law enforcement gathered together Tuesday evening to welcome new police chief Todd Elgin. He was joined by his wife Karen, who pinned the badge on his uniform while loved ones watched. This all took place at the Garden Grove Community Meeting Center. I want to take this opportunity to thank the community, and I want to take this opportunity to let the community know that uh, moving forward, it's a partnership. One of Elgin's goals is to take community policing to the next level. I look forward to all of the command staff and all the management staff being more visible out in the community. Chief Elgin began his career at the Garden Grove Police Department 27 years ago. As a recruit, he predicted that he would rise to the top. I knew from the time I started this uh, that I wanted to uh, be a police chief someday. I am so excited for him. It's been his dream since he graduated from the academy and he is over the moon. Now as the 12th chief of Garden Grove, he is ready to make changes. I think you're going to see the management group out there a heck of a lot more, trying to make those inroads uh, with the different uh, community members out there. Uh, you'll see us out at festivals, you'll see us out at uh, community meetings, you'll see us out at neighborhood watch meetings. Public trust is very important in our business. Among the changes, a stronger presence within the education system. Superintendent Gabriela Maffi says she is proud of their collaboration in the area of truancy reduction. Our Truancy Reduction Center project, where the police department work in close contact with um, school staff and administrators to proactively intervene before it's too late for students. Behind the badge, Chief Elgin says he couldn't have done it without his beloved grandfather. He just simply said to me before I left, he said, just keep working hard, son. Keep your nose down and keep pushing hard, and you may reach that goal someday. Two months later, he passed away. Uh, it was in April of 1994. So, Grandpa, we did it. So, that's good. Now, moving forward with Chief Elgin's prediction 27 years later, he couldn't be any happier to capture this perfect moment in his professional career. One, two, three. Perfect. This is Tao Ta reporting.